Hello, I am Dr. Dharmanand, Consultant Rheumatologist, Vikram Hospital, Bangalore. In this short video, I will try to explain and clarify few doubts about the usage of hydroxychloroquine in the treatment of COVID-19 coronavirus infection. What is hydroxychloroquine? Hydroxychloroquine belongs to a group of drugs called anti-malarial drugs. Chloroquine is the classical anti-malarial drug. Hydroxychloroquine is a derivative of chloroquine. Hydroxychloroquine is not used in malaria anymore, but it is very commonly used to treat many autoimmune rheumatic and autoimmune skin diseases. It is an essential and life-saving drug to treat few autoimmune diseases like lupus, otherwise called systemic lupus erythematosus. Is it a cure for COVID-19 coronavirus infection? Does it prevent coronavirus infection? In fact, there is no cure for coronavirus COVID-19 infection. The entire treatment is supportive. The treatment is decided based on what symptoms the patients have. The symptoms like headaches, fever, cough are tackled by medications. And if somebody has breathing difficulty, it is treated with oxygen and in extreme cases with ventilatory support. There is no known drug which is shown to prevent the occurrence of this infection. At this moment, there is no vaccine. This virus is a new virus for which there is no vaccination available in the market as of today. Lot of research is going on to develop a virus vaccine, but it will take few years for it to materialize. How does it help COVID-19 patients? There are few experimental evidence to say that pre-treating patients with hydroxychloroquine can prevent the entry of virus into the cell and also may prevent the progression of virus in the body. So that is the reason this drug has been tried in many viral diseases. But until now the evidence has been very small and far and few between and uh, few studies done on this current coronavirus COVID-19 has shown mixed results. Should every one of us be taking this medication to prevent the occurrence of this disease and also to prevent the spread of this virus? The answer is no. Still, there is no evidence to support widespread use of this medication in the population in an attempt to prevent the spread of the infections. In that case, who should be taking these medications? Indian Council of Medical Research ICMR, recommends the usage of hydroxychloroquine only to medical professionals including doctors, nurses and other uh, persons working in the hospitals. And also it recommends to be used in close contacts or family members of patients who are already suffering from COVID-19 coronavirus infections. What are the side effects of these drugs and what are the precautions one should be taking if it is prescribed? Hydroxychloroquine is a remarkably safe drug since it is widely used in many rheumatic diseases. Its side effects are fairly very well characterized. The most common side effects are stomach symptoms including vomiting and uh, nausea. Some patients develop severe skin itching and allergy. Rarely, some patients develop difficulty in hearing and giddiness. In patients who have pre-existing cardiac disease, this drug can sometimes produce irregular heartbeat called arrhythmias. 
in patients with rheumatic diseases who are on these medications for many years we routinely check the eyes for any retinal pigmentation if it is present it can lead to visual disturbances and we stop this drug what are the precautions one should take we should not be self medicating this medication without the doctor's approval if you want to take these medications if you feel that you are eligible to take the medication it is better for you to discuss with your doctor or health professionals and you should not be taking this drug without supervision of a medical practitioner thank you very much Thank <music> you.